In this video, I will show you how to add authentication to a Next.js application that's connected with a Sailor GraphQL API. So this is the final result. I can enter my credentials and I can log in. It will fetch some information about my user and then I can log out. The most basic flow. So let's go ahead and try to build that. So first of all, I would need to create a new Next.js app using the create next app generator. Let's call it next auf sailor. We will be using TypeScript, ESLint, Tailwind CSS, no SRC directory. And for this time, I will be using pages router instead of the default recommended app router. So let's open the directory and let's install some additional dependencies. So first of all, we would need a GraphQL. We also need Apollo client. We'll be using that to connect, to talk to our GraphQL endpoint. And finally, we need Sailor Auf SDK, the most important uh, dependency for this tutorial. So once we have that, let's just check if the application is working. It's working as the default starting page for a newly generated Next.js application. Let's open that in VS Code. So the first thing we need to do to add authentication to our Next.js application is to open the app, underscore app file. And here we need to do two things. We need to create a Sailor Auf client. And then we need to connect this client with a Apollo client. So we need to create Apollo client and connect this Auf client uh, with it. So let's go ahead and do that. So the Sailor client, let's call it just Sailor out client. We will use a helper method, uh, a helper function called create Sailor out client, and we will be passing the Sailor API URL to it. And let's define that. So that's the, that's our endpoint. We can read it from the end variables, var, but for simplicity, uh, I will just use, I will just hard code it like that. Uh, and this we need to import from Sailor Alpha SDK. So that's the first step. The second step is to, to create a regular Apollo client. So we just need to create HTTP link using HTTP link. And as the URI, we will add this URL over here and uh, an important part, the connection that happens between the, the regular Apollo client and the Sailor Auth client is that we need to override the fetch. So we will just say fetch and we will be using the fetch that's provided uh, from Sailor. To be explicit, we call it fetch with Auth because it incorporates the authentication and that's all. And then let's just create Apollo client. So this will be an instance of Apollo client with link that we just created and cache, which will be a regular in memory cache. And let's import that. So Apollo client, Apollo client. And that's as well. So once we have that, we need to wrap our uh, root with two providers. So the first provider is Sailor Auf provider, where we will be passing this Sailor Auf client. And the second one is Apollo provider, which will be uh, using this client over here. And then our the root of our application, let's just close that and that. And that should be good. Let's just organize the code a little bit. Uh, and finally, we also need to listen on some changes that happen when people log in and log out. So for that, we will be using our change hook. And here we will, we need to start by defining the URL, which will be this one over here. And then we have two uh, events that can happen on signed out. 
and on signed in. And let's import that. So on signed out, we can do, we can reset the, uh, our client. So in this case, Apollo client. So we can say Apollo client reset, reset store. So this is the one we define over here. That's the regular method that comes from that library. And here on signed in, we can um, do something to refetch again all the queries. So we can just say that I want to refetch all queries. It will be fetched again when the user is logged in. And that's all for the app. And now we can go to um, our page. So in this case, uh, this will be this index page, let's say, and let's replace all that with some very basic uh, implementation of logging. The first thing we need is to define to define a query that can be used to fetch current user. So let's use this query over here and I will call it current user document. Like that. And let's import this helper. So now we could define a very simple condition, which says that if current user is logged in, let's say me, which is the, the shape of the response that we'll be getting from this. I will talk about this, about this in a moment. Uh, when that's the case, we will be uh, displaying a user and otherwise we will just display the login form. So this is the login form and this is the user details. Let's start by fetching the user. So I can just say data use query current user and use query comes from the Apollo client. And I can also add uh, loading and let's rename data to current user. The next step is to use an another hook that comes with Sailor Alpha SDK, which is called use Sailor Alpha context. And we will be getting two methods out of there. Sign out and this will be use Sailor Alpha context. And so let's start by writing the uh, the form. So let me go ahead and copy a part of the code. So here we have an input. Uh, we have a handler that we will be implementing in a moment. For the current user, let's also copy a part of the code. So I'll be just displaying a JSON with the user details. Let's also add a condition that when we are loading data, we have this very simple login form. So now the first step would be to connect that with our React application. So we will be uh, using, so let's define a non-change uh, listener for each input. So on change, we will be uh, reading from that input and the same here, we can use the same handler and let's define that. Let me copy that part. So this handler reads from the current event and sets the form values. So we just need to define it as a state. Um, and we can uh, define a type. And then we can also define the empty values or default values. Uh, so now that's connected and the final part, the final piece in this puzzle would be to define a submit handler. So let me copy that as well. So I have this submit handler. I'm using the sign in method from the use sailor out context. That's the most important part. And I'm passing the values that were put into this form. And if there are errors, I'm setting errors so we can define another state. 
uh, over here. And now we have to connect that submit handler. Whenever someone clicks the submit button, this submit handler will be triggered and passing the form data into the sign in function that was uh, returned by our sailor out context. And that's the whole flow. So let's now test if that works. And voila, it works. We fetch the data. So if we change the shape of our data, let's say I don't want to have first and last name. Uh, as you can see, it's a different, a different shape. And lastly, we could add the logout button. We could see if it works. So it's here at the bottom. If I log out, I'm back at the login form. So let's try again. That works. So that's all. This is the authentication flow. Thanks for watching and happy coding.